I think one of with your interview I had taken. Yes, I. I you took my interview. Yeah, you took a mock interview. Yes, yes, yes. Kamakshi, because I remember this is a unique name, Kamakshi. What do you mean by Kamakshi? So it's uh, another name of uh, Goddess Lakshmi, and uh, there's a temple in South with the name Kamakshi. So. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Yes. Hi guys, welcome to TISS Another Podcast. Today we have Kamakshi. Kamakshi cracked his net and got selected for uh, social entrepreneurship. And uh, she is from Rajasthan. So yeah, Kamakshi for the second congratulation. Thank you, sir. So quickly give your introduction. From which city state you belong to? As I mentioned, Rajasthan you belong to which city and academic background and how come TISS came to the picture. So um, I come from Udaipur, which is also known as the city of lakes. Um, okay. And then I did my schooling from here only. And uh, while I was giving my other entrance exams, I gave my exam for TIS also. And I was very much uh, interested in this program since since like twelfth grade only. So I did my internships like I built a profile and did my internships according to this only. Like I did some NGO work, I did some field work, as that would help build me a profile for like uh, better of getting like better chances to get selected in this. Okay. Okay. So, how come Menu came to the picture? How you got to know about us? So, like, basically, I was just searching for some uh, videos of people who gave their interviews in social entrepreneurship, and then uh, you you had taken so many mock interviews of people who got selected in this program, the social entrepreneurship program. Then I came across your um, videos on YouTube. So I got to know about you, and uh, I got to know about Menover, and then I registered myself over there. Okay, great. And finally, now you are here giving the podcast. Yes, sir. Giving the podcast. Okay. So, uh, tell me about your uh, preparation journey for the TISS. Um, so for the testnet part. Yes. Um. So I I used to read newspaper like uh, Economic Times every day. so that helped me a lot on my gk part actually okay and then i was studying for my cat exam also so that helped me prep for that english part lrdi and that uh, maths part quants part okay so during this whole time so i uh, once again i when i got my cat score which was not like up to the mark then i started studying again for test net and then i pushed i pushed myself i pushed a lot on that gk part because gk is like very vast in test net like it has 40 questions on gk so i found videos and lectures on youtube also i had like a sources also and then newspaper came in once again okay so apart from test net you had appeared for the cat right yes sir what was your percentile in cat approximately बताने जैसा है तो ठीक है अदरवाइज कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है हम सर एवरेज था लाइक 70 अराउंड ओके ओके एंड द कैट के अलावा भी यू हैव यू हैड अपीयर फॉर एनी अदर एंट्रेंस अम नो सर ओनली कैट सो कैट के लिए इफ यू हैड प्रिपेयर टू मैथ्स में तो ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम नहीं आई रहेगी राइट अम यस द मैथ्स के लिए देयर वाज नॉट मच ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम बट आई वाज लाइक डीलिंग विद माय कॉलेज आल्सो आई वाज इन माय लास्ट ईयर ऑफ कॉलेज तो had to simultaneously deal with the college exams also and then with cat also while i was giving cat i was in my second year so okay 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 so it was how i mean was it difficult to manage your board exam graduation board exam and your ts test preparation um yeah so a bit like uh, but uh, being consistent helped a lot and uh, when i finally had to give exam for test so all my college college exams had finished like and i had some time so i had time to revise also but uh, one thing is there like if i am if i was consistent with my studies like every day i gave 2 3 hours so that helped me a lot okay and uh, what similarity similarity you have found uh, 
when it's come to the mock test when you appeared for the actual exam so kitna help kiya tha aapka manure ka mock um for the interview part so um a lot of the questions that no, you I'm asked talking me... about the mock test mock test full okay. test net full and mock test okay so i only gave two mock tests actually okay so it was mainly to know the exam pattern and everything uh huh because gk sometimes differ okay that's why um to the exam pattern that was there so uh-huh. that me a lot and it helped me with the keeping time also keeping track of time so as i, I was able to like divide my all all of my sections according to the time I was given in this okay so uh, do you think during your testnet preparation have you gone through any kind of a let's let any have you gone through batter down moment यार अभी तो छोड़ देना नहीं नहीं हो पाएगा ऐसा कुछ नो सर एक्चुअली दैट नेवर हैपन विद मी आई वाज क्वाइट लाइक एक्साइटेड टू गिव दिस एग्जाम एज इट्स एज वन ऑफ माय फैमिली फ्रेंड्स हैव आल्सो बीन बीन इन टेस्ट तो इट वाज लाइक आई हैव टू लाइक गेट थ्रू विद दिस एग्जाम एंड देयर वाज सो मच एंथुसियाज्म एंड एक्साइटमेंट इन मी टू गिव दिस एग्जाम एंड वंस अगेन व्हेन आई स्कोर्ड इनफ I was like very excited to give the mock interviews also that you took and read about all the stuff that is there. So I don't think that there was a down moment, but uh, yeah, there was this part where uh, I wasn't able to recall some of the uh, some of the current affairs that were there or the static GK that is uh, that was present there. So that was a bit of a dull moment for me. But then once again, I was able to go through it like quickly. like all the efforts finally like came together and helped me work it out okay so when you appear when you went uh, when you went for the actual testnet examination in the yes. examination hall do you yes, think uh, you have done some mistake which one should not do ya kuch cheezon ko take care karke one ek aspect ko dhyan dena chahiye ya there are some pointers which you want to add um yes sir actually on the math part um i wasted a lot of time on some questions that i wasn't able to get and i was like uh, still doing it again and again and again to get the right answer mm-hmm. so that was a lot of time for me okay so i got less part uh, less less time for uh, then i got then i had left time left with me to do my english part so that was quite a mistake like i had to leave that part and like move move forward but uh, i wasn't able to leave some of those questions okay okay so okay next let's come talk about the phase 2 extempor and the interview part so yes. how was the experience let's start with the extempor um so the experience was pretty great like ma'am helped me out a lot like she cleared so many of my doubts okay. when came to the extempo part like she asked me to like note down points and then she helped me go through some of my speaking challenges like how to present myself how how to have a personality how to have the confidence to speak in front of the panel members so these were some of the things um i learned from her and then the mock interviews actually helped me out a lot like i was pretty nervous to give this interview but uh, first ma'am took my interview and then you also took my interview so i got a bit of confidence from there also mm. and some of the questions that you asked me were quite similar to the questions that the panel member asked me so like, what was those questions you asked me about like uh, what are some of the goals an entrepreneur should have or like what are the traits an entrepreneur should have according to social entrepreneurship and then you asked me um you, you asked me the specific point as to who was my idol so these were some of the points that uh, the, uh, that were asked to me also in that interview okay great so what was your extempore topic so my extempore topic was difference between women and men entrepreneurs okay difference between women entrepreneur and the male entrepreneur yes sir okay okay and uh, what about the interview what kind of a question they had asked in the interview if you remember any like uh... um, so they didn't they didn't generally when i uh, when i was 
asking other people what sort of questions they ask they always used to ask like tell me about yourself but uh, they didn't ask some, anything about so, like that like describe yourself or tell me about yourself they directly jump to the questions they asked me about my internships a lot mm -hmm. that i did with an ngo mm -hmm. and they even asked me about this social enterprise that i worked with they asked me some of uh, a gk question that like what is the uh, tell me about a social enterprise that is there in jaipur so i told them about that then i had a national certificate in sports so they asked about that sports part they even asked about sustainability and how sustainability could be inculcated in healthcare and um, yeah these were and they asked uh, some questions related to my academic background okay so those who are preparing for upcoming year so what So, session you want to give to upcoming year aspirant? I mean, sir, like uh, we'll have to like do efforts for this part. Like GK is like one of the toughest thing that is out there. Like they can ask anything. It is such a vast course. So, uh, my only thing is like to prep for GK from the very start. Like not delay it. I mean, maths and English part we'll be able to do, but the GK part it has like a cut off also. So. doing it consistently every day would help very much okay okay yes sir anything else you want to add um yes sir uh, one thing that helped me a lot in my interview was uh, building my profile for it for example the internship that i did so they were very intrigued about it and they asked some questions regarding it and a lot that i was able to speak on it was because i had done that part and i got to know about so much about social entrepreneurship because i had worked with a social enterprise so some of the basic questions like uh, what are some of the traits of the social entrepreneurs what are some of the drawbacks what tell me about microfinancing legal framework of microfinancing so these sort of stuff i had already learned while i was doing my internship So when they asked me about this stuff, I was like able to give them a nice answer. Okay, lots of discussion we have done. So that's yes. all, guys. In this podcast, lots of things discussed uh, by Kamakshi, and uh, I hope you must be learning lots of um, uh, pointers which you, you should take care while you are appearing for your test net preparation and the online assessment part. And once again, uh, Kamakshi, congratulations for your selection. Thank Now, you. Or you will be moving from Rajasthan to Maharashtra, Mumbai. Yes, sir. Okay. All the best. Yeah. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye, sir. Yeah. Bye, bye.